Hey guys, it's Chats. So today's a challenge video. I've been challenged by my amazing scripter to go around supermarkets near us and see how many products I can find within one hour. A normal person makes 10 to 15 pounds per hour. So my aim is to find at least one product that makes me over $50. So it's well worth my time. I feel confident that I'm going to smash this challenge as I have made similar videos in the past where I made a decent amount of profit. For the people that are new around here, what I'll be doing in this challenge is called retail arbitrage, where you simply find products in stores and resell it on Amazon. I've been selling on Amazon for just over a year and have built a six figure store so you can definitely make a lot of money doing this make sure you watch the whole video as i will show you how you find these products and what exactly you look for when buying it to make some semi-passive income on the side so let's get started all right so your boy is at sainsbury's and the countdown is about to start and i'm gonna rush to the clearance section to make sure i find some amazing products so let's go right now Whoa, 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 whoa. These shelves look empty. This challenge might be harder than I thought. I can see something already. First thing I'm gonna do is check this on the Amazon Seller Central app. It's 8 99 and how much can I buy it for? No profit at all. I'm down bad. <laughs> ah, someone stole all the products. I know one of you came to the Sainsbury's and took all the products from here. Who are you? All right, let me, let me try and find more. Lego, friends, swimming. I need to hurry up, no? $8.99. This is not profitable. Let's move on. Okay. Looks like we're gonna struggle. <coughs> Nearly choked, but it looks like we're gonna struggle to find a product here. But we need to hurry up. I'm gonna try and find some more products here. Looks like someone's watching a lot of my YouTube videos and they know where I live. So if you came to this Sainsbury's, I will find you and I'll <laughs> Yeah. No? Yeah, we got we gotta hurry up. You know that, right? Alright, looks like we can't find anything here, so we're gonna head to Asda quickly because there's gonna be traffic. But anyway, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the trolley and let's go. Let's go. Alright, so I'm in the car and now we're gonna head to Asda. And I'm not gonna try and talk a lot, but I'm gonna try and wait. Jatty no two. Why is it? Oh, it's because I'm recording anyway. Let's go, Asda. All right. So while we drive to Asda, let me give you a quick review of driving a Tesla because I've been driving for two months and tell you the good things and the bad things. All right. So a quick review of a Tesla. The good things about Tesla: it's electric, so it doesn't harm the environment. Second, it's fast and it looks amazing which is why I love driving it. And that's pretty much it. And now listen to the bad side of it. The charging is annoying. Short, short journeys is fine, right? Short journeys is amazing. But when it comes to longer journeys, it's annoying. I have to go and literally charge a car every time I go on a long journey. The second annoying thing is because this car is so silent, when an elderly is walking on the road, like a street, they will not move away from you or the car because they can't hear the car. And cause this car is literally so silent when it's not in any speed, they can't hear me. But anyway, now end of the review and let's head to Asda. All right, so while we're in traffic, why not help us out by hitting that like button and you can get 10 years worth of good luck. So better hit that like button. Looks like we are not making on time, but I'm gonna take all the shortcuts possible to try and beat this traffic because I don't know, but roadworks are annoying in London. And literally, I don't know why they start because if they start, they don't finish it. Anyway, I'm going off the topic, so let's keep going, all right? We're in Asda. All right, so we are in Asda and I know for a fact, Valentine's Day is around the corner. So, and I'm gonna find something here because they have a lot of Valentine's Day offer, but we're not getting something like that. We're getting something good, right? <laughs> We're getting something good. So let's let's do the let's take my inner beast out of product research. You're hard. 
all right so this product cost 20 pounds okay so that is 10 pounds profit as you can see Hello. so and i have a bunch of stock here now see most people would buy this product right because it has great profit and don't get me wrong this product will sell eventually but because it is above 100,000 bsr it's 128,000 as you can see i am not going to buy this product because it does not sell as fast as i want it to but don't get me wrong once again there's around 50 units of this which is around 500 pounds in profit if you would buy all of this so there you go i just showed you a product which could potentially make you 500 pounds so if you're gonna go asda and you're willing to spend some money then that's a great return on investment brother <laughs> a few moments later guess what we have found we have just found this amazing product which is just for two pounds on this specific aisle. Stop the video right here. So this product was actually selling for five pounds. Yeah, we went to check out and the product was selling for five pounds, not two pounds. Why did Asda have to do me this dirty? Oh well, still makes me learn pounds and 97 per item. So back to the video. And I will be able to sell this exact product for over 22 pounds. And that is a total profit of, let me just show you a quick profit. I'm gonna spend eight pounds and make a total of pounds in profit guys there you go hard work pays off isn't it <laughs> we just found a bloody product which has like 400 percent roi this is insane i think i'll find some more because i figured out what is or where is the good products so let's keep going i was struggling to find products after the first one and then i saw something on the shelves and went to look for it and it was an absolute banger all right guess what looks like we found the second product which is right here it's fortnite you know everyone loves fortnite my friend here, Justin, he's already taken and he's cracked at Fortnite, my guy. So I thought this might be the one and he has 11 pounds profit per unit and I can buy five of these. Okay, this is getting a lot. So we're going to bag all five of these and make 50 pound profit on this. So we have literally got 50 plus around 60 there, 110 pounds profit in less than an hour of product researching, bro. People make what, 10 pounds an hour? I just made 110 pounds an hour. Yeah, this is what you call retail arbitrage king. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep going to see if we can find anything else or as we'll call it a day now. So that was the challenge. We somehow found two good products that met the requirements I needed. It will give me a total profit of $126.54. Yeah, that's $126.54. That's insane if you think about it. I mean, I'm not trying to brag, but that's more than a person's daily wage in an hour. This is the power of Amazon. Now, some of you might say I got lucky, but I've done this multiple times and I've managed to make a few quid. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg, but Amazon has a lot more potential. And if you really want to make some serious money, then you should start Amazon wholesaling, which is what I do now. And I share a lot of tips and tricks about this in my free Telegram group chat, which you can join using the link in the description. However, you can start your Amazon journey right now by simply watching this video. But before you leave, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as it will really help me out. And I'll see you in the next video.